34. She has five kids, a set of twins that are three, a set of twins that are seven, and 11 year old, all by different men. The three year old twins, you currently live with them? Live in a house. Seven I live in a house. We live in a house. See, I, I, I have a very serious question. What kind of man you think is going to date you that knows that you still live with your baby daddy who you have three-year-old twins by? Wait seven seconds. Can I be honest? Niggas do it all the time. Why? They, what, what's the difference with me? They do it all the time. I swear to God. I bet you a hundred, I bet you a good 50% of your women that slept with men in cars because they nigga live with a, a chick. You know, if my, if my husband today says... What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Back to our favorite Kendra G. Kendra G is singles, something on singles. Her singles show. Uh, I don't know where these people come from. I know she's like, uh, I'm wondering how long she's going to keep doing it, but I really don't understand some of these people that come on this show and i'm starting to think like her now like they just come on trolling try and get their uh content out or whatever but this one particular lady comes on and she is requiring a man making over two hundred thousand, and she lives in the projects make it make sense five kids living in the project off government assistance and she said this, and you need a man making over 200K. So that's where we're going to start this. So guys, before y'all do anything, go ahead, hit that subscribe and that notification bell, and make sure you share. And definitely jump in those comments after y'all see this. And let's get it popping. I just can't. Let's just go. Hello? Hey, Kendra. Hey, girl. You ready, girl? You been here before? Yeah, a while ago, but today's a new day. How you doing, beautiful? Good. When was your Maybe a month ago. A month ago. Oh, that was not that long ago. Yeah. Okay. So, you have an update in a month? Huh? I, no, I, what you said? Do you have an update? Yeah, I got some good stuff that happened for me. Okay, what's your name, honey? My name is Sierra. Sierra, and where are you calling me from again? You me? I can see you. Where are you calling me from, honey? I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, how old are no. you? Oh, I can't hear you. How old am I? 34. Yeah. 34. You can hear a little better if you stop smacking that, that gun. You know what I mean? That's so disrespect. People, if you come on anybody's Zoom live or whatever, do not come on chewing bubble gum chewing gum whatever you want to call it candy take all that mess out your mouth you grown come on do you have any kids seven do you really have seven children well, i keep i don't know why i keep saying seven i'm sorry five why did you, go why did you say, say seven because i've been having the number seven in my head for a while don't worry about that it's been in my head i've been saying seven all day hopefully i'm gonna be lucky i'm gonna be lucky so listen you're not trolling and you're being honest correct you want to see kids come here everybody come here y'all come to the front come here everybody come here come here everybody come here come here y'all say hi y'all what's up say what it's do Say hi to children, y'all. That's my baby. Ow. No, go to bed. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, y'all see the kid running there with the do rag on, with the stocking cap on, and the, and the pamper. <laughs> oh, boy. They make kids all day. <laughs> you know, you got school tomorrow. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Get out the refrigerator. What you doing? Get out the refrigerator. No, for real, stop it. No, because they, I'm sorry, Kendra. I was trying to keep them in the back. 
but they be doing too much. Go in the back for real. You know it's school tomorrow. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone for real. Go to the back. Okay. I got five kids, but I've been thinking about the number seven, but I think I'm lucky. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Thank you for getting your kids to prove it. So how old are your five children? Okay. Eleven. I got two seven years old and two three year olds. They Wait, went. You so I'm not 11? a hoe. I got pregnant three times. Okay, pregnant three times and you had sets of twins that, twice. That's girl. So, okay. Okay, 11, you have two, what's the ages again? 11, uh -huh. two seven-year-olds, and two three-year-olds. Okay, they're all, all by the same man. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> it don't matter. Does it? I, okay, I'm going to be real. So, no. Okay, <laughs> okay how many men? Judgment. What? How many men? How many you think? Don't don't try to gag me either. Well, because excuse me, because you're taking a long time to answer. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna assume. Three. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume three. Yeah, they all have their own fathers. Yeah. So why are you not with the twins, the three year old? I was, but I was up here, and he heard my feelings. And he, remember, I had the house in Atlanta. He kicked me out. So now I'm here in the projects, but I'm happy. Kick me out, so I'm single now. Remember how long me? You been single? How long you been single for? About three weeks. He kicked me out as soon as he saw the video. Look, Wait, you no. called me before and you wasn't single. No, nope. I got all my boxes. Oh, Peter, I, I remember you. Wait, are you married? I used to be before he found out about the video of me wanting another man. So he put me out. I just came back to the project. Okay, so what she's talking about is she came on Kendra's show a few months back. And uh, she came on there looking for a guy and, and didn't bother to tell Kendra that she was married and the father of one of her set of twins, they were together. So it kind of slipped out during the conversation. But dude, family sent him the video and he put her out. So this is where we're at now. So this is the part y'all going to see was the video prior. Atlanta, 34, she has five kids, a set of twins that are three, a set of twins that are seven, and 11 year olds, all by different men. The three year old twins, you currently live with them? Live in the house. Seven I live in the house. We live in a house. See, here, I, I, I have a very serious question. What kind of man you think is going to date you that knows that you still live with your baby daddy, who you have three year old twins by? Wait seven seconds. Can I be honest? Niggas do it all the time. Why? They, what, what's the difference with me? They do it all the time. I swear to God. I bet you a hundred. I bet you a good fifty percent of your women that slept with men in cars because they nigga live with a, a chick. You know, if my if my husband today say he find another girl, I, your husband, I just, your hus I, I, husband? I live with him, but we not together. You know, people live together. Whoa, pause. I thought he was just your child's father. You're you're literally married. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing my thing now. Sarah, what do you do for a living? I do here. Yeah, I'm about to start. You almost should be a comedian. You're Stop telling me the truth. Playing. See, y'all, that's why I hate. Listen, I was going to come back up here and tell you the tea, but I was like, I'm not going to just tell you. I'm going to try to gag Because I couldn't remember you, but now I do remember you. But you, but okay, because, okay, are you the one that said you live with your child's father? You when I was in Atlanta, remember? But you are. Also told me that you, but well, you was married, so you got divorced in three weeks. I uh, know, Miss Sis, his mother, they Africans, and they was mad. They was like, you should never marry that American girl. She was ghetto. And I was like, who are they? Because I come, I, listen, I came with my kids. I take care of my kids. Who are you to tell a nigga what kind, who he should be with? So he, he sided with them. So here I am. I'm in the projects, but I'm good. I got my food stamps, my welfare, my SSD. My, look, I'm good. I don't need no nigga for real, but I just want one. You're not a comedian. Yeah. No, girl, remember I sell cream. I don't, girl, I'm not no comedian. This is me 24-7. Anybody would tell you this is me. This is but me. hold up real quick, because I'm, I'm, I'm recalling your, your video from the last time you was here. But I think I ended up hanging up on you because you was married. So I have to understand how you, because if you're married, we can't do this. No, the nigga let me go. How did you get a divorce 
more than three weeks. He gave me a normal. That nigga didn't want me no more. You saw the video. Your people was talking about me in the comments. His family was sending him the video. I was up in the room by myself. I didn't think he would know. He don't even come on social media. The nigga found out, put me out, came back to my apartment. How long were you guys married for? Almost a year. Almost a year. Okay, I, I, cousins, y'all need to let me know because I really don't know this. Because I do know you can get annulled, but it has to be a short period of time. But I feel like a year is longer. I thought it was like annulment was like three months. Well, I'm in New York. We I got married in New York and moved to Atlanta. I don't know about the mother states. A little bit different. So are you separated or are you divorced? Just, girlfriend, I'm divorced. That is not my nigga no more. I'm on my own. So what do you do again for a living, Sierra? Normally, I was selling cream, but right now, I'm going to just be working out my apartment. I'm going to be doing weaves. You know, I'm going to try to get myself together quickly. I'm going to just start doing here again in my house. What kind of men are you looking for, Sierra? I'm curious. I was thinking about this, too. I was hoping you didn't ask this right away. I was really, what do I want from her? I'm really, I really, I want a man that work. I I want a man that don't mind coming to see me and my kids, that don't mind kids. I want a man that has no kids. He can't have no kids. <sighs> Bro, y'all y'all out here trying to door dash an idiot that want to come into all this mess. You got five, but he can't have any. God dang. Okay, he got here. Here, here's the, here's the. I'm going to ask you this again, because I don't want you to play with my time. What? And I want to be serious. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I want you, are you just trying to get followers? Because it really seems like I'm trying to believe what you're saying, but you just told me you have five kids and now you don't want a man with no kids. Why would I already have my own baggage? So I wait, because I have kids. I got to want him because I got kids. So you want a man? to accept you and your five kids and it he can't has happen. so basically you wouldn't date yourself no but i'm not I'm, listen i don't want a woman i want a man so you wouldn't date you but you want somebody else to no date you. see listen you gotta you gotta understand i'm not a man i'm a woman i can never see myself that way you get what i'm saying so i can't date myself i don't like who she, but what i'm but saying by that, what i'm saying by that is you're, you are your own deal breaker. You wouldn't date a man with kids, but you would want a man to date you with five kids. Hell yeah. I don't, listen, I don't, I don't want to take care of nobody's kids. And I want to deal with your baby mother. But you want him to deal with your three baby daddies. It ain't like it never happened before. So what kind of man are you looking for again? You don't think it's possible? I want a man with a good job. I want a businessman that's a little hood that can protect me. I don't, I want a man that can protect me in the streets and, and pipe me in the bed, but I want him to be able to hold his own. I don't want no guy to take outside, he's scared and stuff like that. I want a real man. I want a man that, you know, I don't got to tell him to do nothing. He can just get it by himself. I don't, this, I want no sucker. I want a real dude that's going to ride with me and my kids that, let me tell you, half of the people up here ain't got no father. Don't even know them. So at the end of the day, this might not be no different for him. Most niggas don't got no father. And I am at a loss for words for the first time. I really don't know. I ain't never heard nobody talk like this and say the things she's saying. And it got me so like, I do not know what this woman wants. She's saying a lot of stuff, but I have no idea what the world this woman is asking for. What type of man you want that's alive that going to do all this stuff? I don't think nobody's living is going to do all this. My opinion. But no. Nope, he ain't out there. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Least, come on, I got, I got five kids. He at least got to make at least like 200. And you want this to be a legitimate 200 or could it be street money? <laughs> it depends. It depends on his. It depends. It just. It just depends. Like I'm not listening. Long as he ain't got nobody looking for him and it ain't gonna put me in danger, I don't care what he do. 
Oh, so the money could be illegally 200K a year. I wouldn't want that, but shoot, I'm not going to turn down no money. This is real life. Would you turn down money? I All the time I turn down. I wouldn't, girl. Not right now. I need to at least come up a little bit before I turn anything down. I, I need a bag right now, girl. And you know. So, Sarah, let me just be honest with you because I do get people that come on my show and they have sensational stories all the time but I get irritated when people try to play with my time and I I honestly feel like you're trolling I, I honestly pray that you're trolling to be honest I honestly that pray that you're trolling you're just trying to get followers and that this isn't real girl you, you didn't hear the comment section when you post my last video you I, I, don't, I don't read all the comments. I, do, the girl, with that? I was, I was, I was gagging. I mean, I just want to know: Do you realize how much you're embarrassing yourself right now? I, I ain't never been embarrassed since my mother pushed me out the womb, girl. Okay. Weird. And you see, that's why they should bring shame and humility back. She has no shame and no humility about anything she do, and that's why she's on here in front of thousands of people on that show. Looking like a fool. Y'all know why y'all ladies, why y'all waste y'all time? She's 30 something years old with five kids on here acting like a fool. That shit ain't funny, smacking on that gun like that. Then you tell me you want a man making over 200K to do what? Pay for all these damn, what? Pay for these little kids' diapers and, and, and do rags and shit? Come on. Man, our community gotta get back right, man. This is getting out of hand. I'm just going to say it. We are out of pocket right now. For real. Why would I be in there if I took it from a black sister like myself? Because you're a mom of five, you have three-year-old kids, and you just said you're willing to date a man that can make money legally. Who knows what he can do? But not just harming you, you got children to think about too. So the money is more important potentially than your own children's safety. But where, 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 where we going to live if you don't got no money? How we going to go out to eat? Where we going? Where we going to go? So I'm going to take a nice guy to work and drive a bus, right? I don't know if a nice, and be, and be, nice guy is going to take you, to be honest. You was a liar. That's the devil. Um, every, listen, you want to hear something? My last video, you know how many men came to me trying to give me money, everything? You know, I could show you my DMs. So are you here for attention? Is that what you desire? Of course it's attention from a man. If a guy wants to reach out to you, how can he reach out to you? Just like DM me. Uh -uh. Not on here. Nobody. No, 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 no. No. Not on here. Mm. Okay. Love you, Kendra. Thank you so much, boo. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, boo. Okay. Okay. Dang. That was terrible. That was just terrible. Oh, my goodness. Our black women, no one, and I want, I'm trying to do as nice as I can. No one wants to come in and take care of your kids like that. Nobody. You guys keep using your kids as some type of pawn that all these great men out here looking to just come and spend all his hard earned money on your kids. No. Nobody wants to do that. And you're living in the projects on government assistance. Tell me you want a man 200K to pay for your kids. How about you go get those kids' fathers and have them pay for the kids? You see how that works? Y'all never think about doing that. Y'all always be talking about, I need somebody to help take care of these kids. I'm pretty sure sperm come from a man and that man was between your legs. Go find a man that was between your legs and get your money. That's how that works. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. No foolery for the day. So you guys, y'all hit me in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this. Um, think she'll get her 200K guy. Um, you think he want to come out, want to come through? And you guys want to come through and uh, take care of five kids? You know, y'all making that money. Y'all should be wanting to go get some, get you some baby kids. You know, they on sale.
You know what I'm saying? She got five of them on sale. Probably give you half price. But let me stop fooling around. I mean, maybe. But you guys know what's up. Support the channel. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe, the notification, get the next video. And it is your boy, once again, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Peace.